create a program. We're going to name it. There, that'll work. Attempt. Okay. So now. Now we're going to create our start point. And that's going to be somewhere above the paper. Right, right above there, I think, is pretty close. So, yeah, what we're looking for is point in the corner, so we're going to hit next, and that will bring up the other set of screens, and point is in F1. So now we have created our start point. Now you're going to jog down to the first point of the rectangle. And once you get that into position, and do the same thing as we did with the start point. And that has created our first point of our rectangle. Uh, he'll do the same with the other three points. Now we're going to create two lines by holding down shift and hitting F1 twice. Now we'll let off a shift. We'll go up to line 6. We're going to change that to 2 because that will take us back to our first position on our box. And down to line 7 we're going to change that to 1 and that will take the robot back to our home position. Now in order to run a program by step, you make sure that TP is in step, which it is. Got the two little lines on the step there. Now we hold our dead man shift and we hit the forward button. So we have to go to function. Enter. Now we should be able to step our program through the processes. There's start position, position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, Takes us back to our initial box position and once more back up to start. Now to run it continuous, we take it off a step, hold the shift button, we hit the forward. Now it'll run through all four steps, or all seven steps. And that's how you run it in continuous.